uh, Twitch TV bot that just came out. It's a new bot called uh, the name's kind of weird. It's called A N K H bot, but it's basically a, it's a cool bot because it offers quotes, death counters, it has um, giveaways, it does commercials it's for partner streamers, non partner streamers. It's kind of an all in one. It it's a night bot, move bot, and um, mod bot all put together. And this uh, guy who's actually been developing it for a while has been working on it a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and post the uh, video uh, link for this URL below in the video description. You're gonna want to go ahead and download the latest version here. It's gonna be a RAR file. It's not very big. It's about five megabytes. I've already uh, downloaded it. You're gonna want to make sure you have Microsoft Net Frame 4.1. You'll just um, download it, extract it to your desktop, and then run the installer. And then it will tell you if, it, if you don't have NetFrame 4.5, Microsoft NetFrame, it will tell you to install it. Once you have it installed, I've already installed it. It's uh, going to launch this way. And this is it. The ANKH bot, Twitch IRC bot. It's made by ANKH Heart, this developer. The first thing you want to do is uh, set everything up. To do that, you go to their credentials right here. And you want to have your bot login. So I know that my, my bot name is Crowbot, which I'm currently logged into right here on this page. So I want to go ahead and set that up. So what you do is you want to click on Generate um, Auth Token, and it will actually uh, go to a page for you where you can sign up to authorize your account here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. So I'll go ahead and type in my credentials here. This is my bot login, so I really don't care if uh, he has access. Token failed. Going over my your browser open with instructions. Okay. Great. I notice a lot of these programs, like in Modbot and Moobot, the authors, uh, the tokens, doesn't seem to work correctly. So I'll go ahead and uh, do this again. All right, so this is my token. Go ahead and copy and paste this. Copy, paste. We'll go ahead and click on Connect. Go back to the program, and we'll see attempting to connect with IRC unknown command. This can take anywhere from one to three minutes, depending on the Twitch chat servers. So I'm currently in my channel, but my mo my bot is not, so it's going to try to reconnect in a second. We'll go ahead and my uh, streamer login again. My username is. I think I'm already in there, so I don't know if I need to connect, but I'll go ahead and uh, generate one as well. So we'll go ahead and log in. I don't know what my password is. Oh, that is my password. Okay, authorize. I think this won't work as well. Let's find out. Alright, failed, of course. So again, it's going to log me into here. Same login. Alright, gave me a login. Copy. Go ahead and connect you. You'll notice it, it connected, so it's going to tell me it, it's joining. Alright, so I got my I'm connected on my Quad2K Pro, and you can also connect with the Google login. I don't know my Google password, so I'm probably going to skip that. Uh, I have no idea what the hell I set it to. It's because it's random for this. So I connected the the Curlbot, and I connected myself to this channel. So both are going to log in. It's going to take a second. You can actually uh, you can actually see I'm on my other screen. I have it connected. Curlbot's here, and uh, this is here, and they're both logged in into my channel. So once you have that set up you have your dashboard and currently I don't have a title um it's it's nothing so I can just change it to like making YouTube videos because that's all I ever do and you can set your game I think it has options H1Z1 boom go ahead and send making YouTube videos update your title and game on Twitch your title and game on Twitch has been updated so this is my old title all videos can be found here let's see if it worked I'm gonna go ahead and refresh it making YouTube videos H1Z1 so it definitely works and if you're a partner streamer you have options to, to run commercials with this bot which is pretty cool and you can set it to automatic uh, start and stop times you can even uh, give them a warning message or play a sound right before this is FXX this is a you can play a sound that's gonna initiate like oh a commercials coming up and you can also host people so it has a hosting option so if you have a person like a good friend I, I really like the hosting option in Twitch. You can automatically host a per person for X amount of time. So say you have like three or four friends, you can add their channel. Like, you know me, I'm always hosting my, my boy Summit 1G. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add his channel. And I also like to, I don't know, host uh, Woody Styles, my boy Woody. So I can add both people and I can change on how often I want to host them for four. You know, I want to host them for 30 minutes at a time and switch back and forth. Or you can go random. You can go in order of hosting people or random. So this thing's really cool. If you like hosting people and you want to just constantly host people who are live or not live, you can do this. And it even offers you the chance to swap only if the channel is offline. So you can have a list of people you like. And as long as you're running this program, you can host them. That's really cool. And then it has a, a list of all the followers you had for today, a list for all your subs as they come in. And today, if you get rated by another channel, it will show the list of channels. So it keeps a log and it tracks everything for you, which is really cool in the dashboard. I really like that a lot. And you can also add uh, commands, much like a Nightbot or Moobot with this program. So for instance, I like to do info. And everyone can type info, and this could be just like a no parameter or a single parameter, enable, true, false. And this could be like... Uh, if someone types info, it can be information about the stream. Uh, I like to make YouTube videos that help people out. And then that's one of my commands. And you can just do click on add or modify. And you'll see you have an info here, raid and caster. I believe you can even uh, remove these or edit these as well if you right click on them. So this is really cool. Uh, you can add basically information about your Twitter. You know, if someone wants to type like Twitter, tweet. You can have, make sure to follow me on my Twitter, yada, yada. Make sure to follow my Instagram. Put all your social media and your, your commands here. It's like they do in ModBot or Nightbot. This is also built in, guys. And there's no limit here. There's no limit. You don't have to pay any money. You can put as many commands as you want. It's very easy to use. These are ones you set up yourself. You can also set up uh, time commands. And again, you can just be like, uh, follow. Make this a time command. So anyone can type this. You want to make it for every, I don't know, every 10 minutes, say, you know, please make sure to follow if I can spell correctly my stream add modify boom so every 10 minutes it will type in uh, curlbot will say please make sure to follow my stream you can make oh if you're enjoying the stream please make sure to retweet my stream out to all your friends please use your social media you know use this to build up your stream you can have time commands and reg regular commands would be commands you type one at a time time commands would happen every so often you don't want to make it too annoying because like every 10 minutes is really not too bad in my opinion if you're asking someone to follow your your thing but if you have no one talking it could be quite annoying so set set the time you want and quotes are another cool thing so you can have certain quotes in a game that relates to you just set an ID for it and allow the different people you can have a caster editor regular people who can view it and then people who can add permissions to it so I love you got him, bro. who doesn't love got him, bro it doesn't exist. Oh, I have to add it, right? For everyone. So you can add or modify. Wait, wait. It doesn't exist valid number. The ID field is only used to override distant codes. Okay. Then we won't put any ID then. So IDs, you have to do ID zero. And then I hate you. So they can do like special quotes if they want. And they'll, they'll type it in for different people to view. If you only want certain people. Like for instance, uh, I would even do like subscriber only uh, quotes quote view permissions subscribers like the the sub TOS info is yada 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 it, and then just display a person can display the quote that only they can see which would be pretty cool and then uh, for the it has a giveaway section for raffles again people people love doing raffle dot raffle and you can make it for moderators subscribers normal viewers uh, someone's call me right now my friends call me right now he's gonna have to wait because I'm making a YouTube video and you can start the giveaway and the giveaway so I started a giveaway in my channel. Let's go look. So Curlbot, entries allowed, petition many viewers. You can join the giveaway by typing the keyword raffle. So I know it's working correctly. It's coming up in my giveaway section right there. No problem. So the giveaway definitely works. You can do, uh, for certain people, you can do stop, pick the winner. Uh, let's go see if I can win for myself. Crowbot's gonna enter and then I think I will enter it as well. So popular. So you should be able to see the people entering in. Let's go look. I don't know if I can enter as the I'd have to get like another account or something, but let's go ahead and pick the winner. <laughs> no well the bot can't enter, but basically when people enter it will show up over here who's entered and you can pick the winner yourself you can set certain command lines on sounds like I guess this would be for the streamer 
I would assume like for certain games if something happens you can set game sounds that launch a sound file from this as well which is pretty cool if you have like a game you have your point system the currency system again this one does your user your rank your level and your hours and how many points so it's a little different from the current one uh, you have your rank it could be like I don't know major private whatever you want to set it to you can set